Hey Collective, let's get some messages for the 23rd. This is June 2022. Happy Summer Solstice. This is Collective Consciousness Energy. What is going on today? Please God, clear, concise messages on three. What is the situation today, Collective? All right, so we have some Cups energy. We saw these strong feelings show up yesterday with the King of Cups. It was our internal or subconscious energy. It's coming up in the situation today. So some hidden feelings, maybe deep feelings, if nothing else. And a standstill about walking away here or how to find, say, our highest purpose. This is emotionally leaving something that doesn't work for us anymore with the Eight of Cups here, opposite of the Hanged Man. So it feels like a big moment. Oops. It feels like a big moment, right? Because the Hanged Man is the major showing up in this trio here with the Scorpio ruled King of Cups, this deep emotion. Like I say, you know, there's a sense of maybe not secrecy so much as privacy here, private hidden emotions, but kings are mastery. So there's a mastery of at least, you know, this, these telltale signs or these tattletale signs here. But I feel like with, because the Eight of Cups is about going on your bliss's journey, right? This emotional bliss here that's deep for you, that's meaningful for you because that's central here. There is this sacrifice, surrender, suspension or release here. Enlightenment is also coming up in this Pisces energy ruled uh, hanged man here. There is this brief spell of, I would say, inaction. There's inactivity here uh, about, you know, emotionally doing this, but it looks like it looks like it will be happening, right? Because the king is in charge of this search for bliss, okay? So let's see your thoughts. You are the other person's thoughts about the situation collective. Interesting. All right, let's get these back in. I take only face up cards, as you know. Let's get some cards for the thinking. What do you, are the other person's thoughts about the situation collective? Either way, the situation is looking emotional overall here. <laughs> It's affecting the emotions from, for, within, around, that type of thing. Something could just feel like it's taking a while maybe to sink in as well. All right, thoughts. You are the other person's thoughts. <clears throat> There's an intensity here, <clears throat> excuse me, with the King of Cups as well, just being with that Scorpio energy. So there's that, um, you know, emotional intensity here as well. All right, <laughs> what are the thoughts? You are the other person's thoughts about the situation. All right, brand new beginning. Yeah, I mean, something is really spurring on this desire here in the Eight of Cups to seek this emotional bliss anyway. This is just, um, this isn't a road bump, uh, what's it called, a speed bump. 
it's not like that here in The Hangman. It's more about a pause before that actual movement, that knowledge that you're going to move. And here in the thoughts, the Ace of Wands, the actual movement. So collective, I actually see this as a really positive thing here because in essence, there's this ability to recognize how big of a deal this is emotionally perhaps for you or intense this may feel. Um, that you want to take your time and be settled about doing it and be absolutely clear about what it is that you want, that you're striving for, that you consider to be part of this bliss here. You know, or, or like accepting that, like I said. New lands, new directions, a brand new start here. If this is a love or a romance reading for you, this is definitely someone who is interested in finding their bliss within this maybe a lover romance offer. This is very phallic, right? Very masculine energy. But essentially it's a new beginning, a new start, and um, a lot of passion. This can be the birth of something here as well in the Ace of Wands. Aces are just good omens no matter what. So your thinking is extremely powerful in terms of first steps into these new lands for you. I'm seeing here this personal bliss, right? So you are ready here in the thinking. You are aware. That's what I love about this collective. So very, very cool. Um, yeah, you're just making things, you're just making sure that things are a certain way and you're clear here so that you can move forward. Let's see your feelings. You are the other person's feelings about this situation. And today that'll be the Hanged Man, the King of Cups, and the Eight of Cups. All right. You are the other person's feelings. All right. That just turned out in the deck as I was shuffling. I want to make sure I don't have another that turned over. The feelings about this, yes. It's interesting because we have some swords energy show up in the feelings, but of course, oops, it's around the heart. And where is the heart? Our feelings. So this is definitely affecting the heart space here in a deep level. Moving away from something, moving into something new that's gonna take us away from this heartbreak. It's an understanding here, definitely and understanding this is total heartbreak, generally speaking, with the Three of Swords in any circumstance, including romance. It is generally going to be a third party situation. It can just be a family member, it doesn't have to be extramarital, but you know, too much influence, over influence, that type of thing. So these heavy emotions, yeah, of course, are going to be around these feelings here, this heartbreak, having to leave something behind. But also new beginnings, there could be a conflict here, a conflict of, of those feelings as well, if you aren't dealing with those signs necessarily, or any fire sign here, then it could... It, it's just that energy, right? Not, not those um, signs necessarily. You could be dealing with an older uh, water sign male here as well. Let's see the most probable outcome. What's the most probable outcome here, collective? And we did see a lot of that death energy in the last couple of days as well. The Ten of Swords was coming up the last couple of days. And here, I mean, it's really, it's daunting, right? This energy, it's really, it's shaking him up. Um, so yeah, it's just like a recognition and the feelings here about maybe how deep that was. Hmm. Um, well, let's see. Let's see the most probable outcome here. What's the most probable outcome for this situation? Yeah, two of wands. I saw that peeking out at the bottom as I was <laughs> shuffling earlier. I mean, the in the thinking, right, we have the ace of wands. Here we have some matching energy and the most probable outcome. This is moving on to new lands, literally into the realm of your hopes, your, your dreams, your bliss, right? 
your personal bliss. So I actually really love this. This is acceptance. This is acceptance. But that does, I don't think in any way that whatever has just happened here didn't change you. Something really has been altered because this, especially all by itself, the Three of Swords here and the feelings about the situation, you know, this is just, yeah. This changes someone. This this could cause this could create a scar. So here in the two of wands, I love this most probable outcome. Here is your direction. The world is in your hands. Partnerships of any kind, but maybe just contracts, alliances, and and you know say support and understanding for yourself. No one else has to be in the picture here. It doesn't have to involve that, but certainly. If it is just about you, it's about aligning yourself with people who work in the same direction or ha see the same outcomes, worldview. So let's get external energy. I mentioned the Nine of Wands energy um, yesterday. Here we see it. Interesting. And then we will look at more subconscious energy. So, here we have an external energies here. We have our King of Wands, Nine of Wands, and Six of Pentacles. Yeah, so this is a Leo energy that could be playing a part here as well, or a Leo, older fire sign, some fire sign energy in general, or just this, you know, effervescent, lively, passionate in this case, so deep, and now we have passion here. So with the nine of wands right in the center, here is this sense of what's it going to take but not ever giving enough, right? And it's known now. Now it's just clear <laughs> with that ace of wands. Like, oh, I know what to do, you know, next time I face this. But it's trying everything, but it's knowing now that it wasn't. So much of this is communication, just with the swords and the feelings. Now we have the queen of swords for general energy for the whole reading. We have some swords here in, in the subconscious. So, And this is talking about thoughts, ideas, communication, beliefs, and so forth. So, said and unsaid, right? What was going on here? So on the outset, we have this opportunity to set something straight, to do more than breadcrumb here, especially if it was um, a, a relationship where there was a lot of passion. Work can factor here as well. We do see entrepreneurial energy, uh, energy um, you know, and working hard on projects. We do have, um, how many nines here? We do have two nines and then we now have two threes so yes it it's possible that there was third party influence uh okay so this is subconscious energy things that are going on within you or the other person here that may be unknown these are usually things that are known or could be happening on the outside as i say or things that could be available to you this is sort of this shadowy stuff where it's like you could have an inkling about something, but yeah, and you're subconscious. Seven of Pentacles, we saw him yesterday, three of wands, and then the nine of swords. So here's where we're seeing some more of this heartfelt anxiety deep within. New directions, expectations, waiting too long. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of, there feels like, you know, and I guess this is, it's the human condition it's the human experience you know when we have these things to emotionally walk away from or move grow from right the eight of cups the eights are all about growth essentially anyway but the eight of cups particularly when it comes to emotions it's emotional growth that's never easy we saw all those fives yesterday <clears throat> all that discord uh so yeah not shocked, not shocked to see this energy today, but you know, <clears throat> excuse me, which way to go really is a lot of this. So picking this direction, 
Going where there's a high spiritual component would be a good idea here. Following your passion, what brings you joy, life, energy, creativity is playing a big role here. Whatever you can stay, mm, I would say, the most positive about all the time. <laughs> you know, if you can pick that one thing, um, whatever that is for you. And try to stay active here as well. You know, get out. Uh, get out of your head for sure and you know forgiveness there could be some forgiveness work as well but yeah there could even be an element of like expecting something because maybe you feel like you could you should be more heartbroken you should be more this more that um, and there there could be some reminders of that here as well but I think that there's as long as you're active in and toward these new emotional reservoirs of bliss okay and I say that because the Sun is opposite here of the Queen of Swords for general energy for the whole reading today so now we have um, a mature or older air sign female, but Libra energy showing up here, um, right? So sixth house, fifth house over here, eighth house. These houses could be important to you. More Leo energy here with the sun. The sun is the happiest card in the deck. So if you have been apart from someone and there has been an arm's length experience or communication problem, issue, or concern here, I would say that there's a lot of success around this communication at this time. I would say that worries or stress, anxiety, where someone's sleeping, sleep patterns, sleep in general could be affected here. And I would say that that's something that is communicated is just going to help put something at ease. This is high intelligence. So there's a little bit of a mismatch between these energies as well. We have cups, wands, and then this air energy. So there's a lot of gumption, passion, and, and <clears throat> emotional intensity here. But we need this, you know, intelligence to get through and to communicate. Because she's very open. But she, remember, she's matching this heart. Um element which is air right so this person or energy has been through something before so they're going to need to see things they don't want to hear anything or you something needs to be proven here or leveled up business opportunities could be playing a role here as i say when it comes to these two kings and if this is just about your life it's about you know, trusting yourself that you can be there for yourself. Success is on the way, right? With this brand new birth, we have some more birth energy, sun energy, but healing, some, some healing energy for sure, right? This enlightenment and success but ultimately happiness. So don't give up whatever it is here. Try to stay communicative if it's all about you and your own story and there are no other players or actors involved in your story. You can always um, you know, imagine what you would say to yourself here at this point. Maybe something needs to be mapped out. Maybe there are a lot of deep, intense, passionate ideas here that need definitive direction the seven of one um pentacles here is really giving me this vibe it's not only like impatience it's almost this sense of um <laughs> like following through so it's like you know what you need to do and you're looking forward to it but it's almost like ah you'd rather not but you know you have to here in order to you know spotlight that success so the communication needs to be spotlighted here I think that's a word <laughs> and um, it needs to shine something needs to come out in the open and 
it's going to be well received or at least communication it's going to clear something up right clear sunny days no matter what here um particularly because there's this you got to make a move one way or the other anyway right <laughs> from this new beginning so collective that is the reading i love doing these readings for you and i really hope that you enjoy them at least find them entertaining if nothing else and I always hope that they're helpful to someone out there. So until we meet in the next one, take care and bye for now.